So this is Trail Makers and this is something a little bit new for me because I've not really played this game for terribly long at all. I've seen some videos of it that my son's been looking at and that I've been watching with him. So I picked up the basics and it occurred to me that I could try, as it was on Xbox Game Pass, to create something. And of course being me, the thing I chose to create was the X-Bomber from Starfleet, which turned out to be horrendously impossible to do. However, that being said, here she is. Boom. There she is. So, um, it's quite a versatile little game. It's, it requires some serious thoughts because it uses real-world physics. So, um, you know, action, reaction, talk, gyros, you know, all this good stuff is in there. And so I was faced with the difficulty of trying to make a spaceship aerodynamic, because that's the only way things fly in this game. So she doesn't really fly. <laughs> She's more of a rocket. It's the Elon Musk school of flying in so much as if you strap big enough rockets on the back of it, it'll do something. So, um, as you can see, I've done my best to make it look something like it should, albeit it's effectively a one-seater. But she looks quite good. Um, I was quite happy with how she turned out. How she flies is not so great. Um, but let me show you some, some gimmicks anyway. So here I am boarded in her now. And um, as you can see, there are little nods of the heads of the original series. It's not quite X Impulse, but it's got the wingtip lasers and it's got the neck lasers, so I'm quite happy with that. And if you lift the neck up right in the first place, it doesn't shoot the front of the ship off, which is great. So just release, and it goes back to normal configuration. For my next trick, <laughs> taking off, I may need more space. You can turn left by firing one side, or you can turn right by firing the other side. If you fire them together, and I do repoke with works. I use the K key to lift the nose, like so, very slowly. I'll try and get it up as high as I can, then I kick in the middle. I'm really hoping that what happens is that someone will look at this, take pity on me, and try and help me make a better version of it. She will fly. I've had to use her. I've used her in the test bed zone before now rather than this zone. So, so. There she comes. There we go. Okay, we're up. We're up. We won't go up for long, probably. The good thing about this game, you can just repair it and sort of remake it and, and, and try again, basically. So it's it's fairly forgiving like that. Um, I'm trying to turn around a little bit. Can. Let's just go hair facing in a different direction. So that should sort it out for me. Not enough space. Not enough space. The thing is, most things that are built in this game are much, much smaller than what I'm attempting here. Um, so I'm being fairly optimistic in even attempting to this new scale, really. So let's just get her up again, just so we get a little space and everything else. So the problem is that she will fly, but I can't. I'm not very predictive in terms of where how I can go. She can. Okay, trying again from this location, but it's a little bit flatter and a little bit smoother. Let's see if we can get her up. Trying to lift her nose. Full burn. Put the gas from then down a little bit just to try and get her going straight through. Just in case. So, I'm going to do some kind 
soul takes me this young. So as you can see, the flights in the real world could have gone better, but I just thought I'd show you the uh, the starting point for it all, which of course is the the sort of the blueprint building stage of it. And this is quite interesting because in order for this to work, I had to basically start her out like this, which is flat, because you can't start hinges at an angle, so they had to start flat on the horizontal so she's rigged to immediately deploy the wings and indeed even the neck here you can see the neck is um is horizontal as well and you can just make out in there you see the cannons lurk in there so the hinges bring that but the the neck up and out of the way of the cannon so they can fire freely and of course we haven't got die x pieces because there's no way i could do that but I have put in thrusters there just to try and give some sort of extra lift and stability to it because what I realised as I was tinkering was that originally these were lifting wings but the problem is the centre of gravity, the centre of mass is somewhere around here roughly so the lift lifts straight up this way which puts your nose down because the centre of gravity is ahead of the wings and so it pushes you into the ground and that's all you want to do is go straight down into the ground as soon as your engines fire so you have to counter it and i'm countering it with these helicopter engines to a degree and with these dragon jets to a degree but those jets are only really pushing on my center of mass they're not really giving me a lot of lift so it's very hard to make her flyable and still keep her looking like she did in the series i mean she's she doesn't look bad um and it's quite nice that I managed to get the functionality in that will allow me to have the, the neck lift and then you know shooting from underneath the neck. So this is what happens when you put it into the sort of flying mode. You see the wings pop up, the hinges work, and that's based on an altitude sensor. So basically at any given altitude, that's what she's going to look like. She doesn't look like that when you're you're sort of building on her. So you can hop in the cockpit there. This is a lot easier to do because you can see this is just a straightforward plane environment. So I press K to lift the nose very gradually. Try and get her at a fairly steep angle of attack and then kick in Z next at the same time and take her off like a, a conventional rocket really. You didn't quite pull off there, let's try that again. Lift the nose again. Uh, and there we go. So the problem is, of course, that tends to give me a bit of horizontal flight, which I don't really want. It's horizontal with my nose straight up in the air, but it gets me up. The problem is, I'm finding that I do kill her around quite a lot, and that's what happens. <laughs> Fortunately, for purposes of this particular sandbox sort of game, it really doesn't matter. It is irritating when you're trying to create something to work all the time. A large part of the problem, I believe, is caused by my neck hinges. Because I think that the, the neck hinge brings in a degree of instability in my flight because it's wobbling from left to right all the time. And although I've got a stabilizer on board, I don't think it's doing what I expect it to do. Um, but. I'm going to drive myself nuts if I try and get this any better at this point because I don't know enough about the game. So I just thought I'd throw this out there for you to have a look at. And, um, if anyone wants to comment, then obviously they can do, and that will that might help me fix some of it or give me an alternative way to look at it. Which would be very
very welcome because I say I'm struggling a little bit with it at the moment and I figured doing the show and tell bit might be the best way to try and uh, get some assistance on it. So there you go. So she gets up, not for very long, and she yeets me a, a million miles away. She looks good. She looks good. I'm quite happy with the, with the actual sort of build and my initial thinking about how to hinge the wings so that they pop out with a sensor works pretty well. So I get the overall body shape very well, considering it's not really sort of program that's rigged for that at all. It's just the actual... And I can get her in the air because she's got 10 jets. So ironically, her actual original design really caters for getting her in the air in this game. But that's no problem. It's what to do when she's in the air that's the problem. Because this is what keeps happening. I keep tilting. And her weight distribution is pretty even. So I don't really know why. But if I try and use individual engines to, to pull her out, no chance. So... It is back to the proverbial drawing board. But as I say, I think I've probably done about as much as my sanity will allow for the time being. So... Uh, leave it to the professionals to perhaps come up with a better idea on how to do it. So yeah, with that, I will leave you taking off into the sun. There you go, finally got a nice beauty shot. Whee! <laughs> That'll do. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers for now.